Hi, my name is Dana Bett. Welcome to my YouTube video. And today, what I'd like to talk to you about five elements for great emails. Now, these are not the only elements, but these are five elements or five strategies and, or things that I pay attention to that have worked for me, that have helped you know me to be successful. So again, these are five strategies or five uh, elements that are really necessary uh, to write great emails. So I'm going to post them up here real quick so I can, you can follow along. So the first one is your subject line. This has got to be the, the granddaddy of all. Make sure your subject line um, is what catches their attention. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to be very long, but it, you know, it can be short, but it's got to be pithy and to the point. And there are a lot of free tools out there. Just do a search on uh, subject line testers, and you'll find a plethora of tools that will evaluate your subject line and as, as to whether or not it is estimated if it will end up in the spam folder or if it will end up in the inbox. So your subject line is really, really important because that's the first thing people see when they see that, you know, and how many emails do you get in the course of a day? 5, 20, 50, 100, 200, 500? Some people get as many as 1,000. Well, how can you get your email to your prospect or to your subscriber to stand out. Well, the subject line is the first thing they're going to see, so that's got to stand out. And be imaginative. You know, use something really creative, but you know, put a lot of effort and thought into your subject line. So that's the first thing. The second one is never now for personal stuff. It's fine. Free email accounts are fine. But you know, for any kind of a business, if you're doing any online business or any kind of email business, you want to stay away from free accounts. What do I mean by free accounts? Well, you want to stay away from like Gmail or AOL, you know, gmail.com or AOL.com or um, and there's, a, there's a bunch of others, Yahoo. Stay away from those if, you know, for your business because most spam uh, filters, they'll pick up on that extension. They'll pick up on that free email and it'll end up in uh, the spam folder. So, what's the alternative? How do you get around that? Well, buy your own domain, and you don't have to have it hosted. Just as long as you have a domain name, and you can get, you know, you can get a domain name for, you know, probably around ten bucks from like Namecheap, GoDaddy, and there's a host of others. But get a domain name, and then a t and then set up an email account with your domain name. Like for instance, you know, Joe at Joe.com. Um, so get out, get your own domain name. Never use free email accounts. Uh, for your business. Point number three, use a name. All right, so you've got your domain, joe.com, wonderful. Don't uh, don't use an email an email account like admin at joe.com or news at joe.com or info at joe.com because that also will be picked up by spam filters. So you want to avoid using administrative type names. You want to use a personal name, you know, like joe at joe.com, you know, or mary at mary.com or, or whatever the case might be. Use a name. Stay away from administrative type sounding uh, names in your email address. And then number four, this is a, this is probably just as big as your, as your um, subject line, point number one. Point number four, your content. Your content has to be quality content, something that's going to capture your readers, something that's going to uh, interest them. And your content should be, you know, how-tos or product reviews or reviewing strategies or techniques or reviewing, you know, reviewing tools or things like that. Andrew. Now, uh, I did a video not too long ago um, on your email sequence. You know, and I, I, what I shared was your email sequence to your subscribers should be, you know, like pitch, value, 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 pitch, value, 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 that kind of uh, system. And if you're doing a pitch email, you know, per, you know, talking about your service or your product, don't make every other word, you know, buy XYZ because XYZ is the greatest thing in the world. XYZ will do don't, you know, don't flood your email with the name or of your service or your product. You can mention your service or your product, but then focus in your email on how it will benefit them, how it will solve a problem, how it will help them get through an obstacle. So it's okay to do a pitch email. Not every single email in your sequence should be a pitch mail, obviously. But if, if you, if you saw, you know, if you pepper it, so to speak, um, through your email sequence, that's fine. And your email that is a... Uh, uh, you know, a, um, a pitch email, again, you know, focus more on how your service or your product is going to benefit the reader of your email. So that's the other thing. Um, 
your content. And again, content is really, really, really important. And also, before I forget, if you're going to put links in your email, don't use the whole ugly link. Go ahead and make a hyperlink. You know, I, the other day I was, uh, I did a, an analogy on golf balls. If you're promoting golf balls, well, if you're promoting golf balls, don't put the whole link of the sales page for for the golf ball that you're promoting. Uh, do a hyperlink so you can just put the word golf balls and bold it and make it a hyperlink. Uh, stay away from putting you know the long tail email addresses in your in your text in your you know in the text of your email. Just stay away from that. So. And then number five, number five, CTA. So many entrepreneurs forget to um, uh, utilize a CTA, a call to action. And, you know, because if you don't tell people what you want them to do, they're not going to do it. And many, many entrepreneurs, you know, think that their readers are mind readers. Uh, well, they're not. You've got to tell them specifically what it is you want to do and make it very short, very simple. To learn more, click here and then make here a hyperlink. Or to get on my mailing list, um, click here and put, you know, here again, the hyperlink. Make it, you know, make it a very, um, very straight and easy to follow call to action. And because if you don't tell people what to do, they won't do anything. So make sure you have a very strong call to action at the end of your email. So these are five points. These are five points or strategies or uh, elements for great emails. Again, real quick, uh, you know, make sure you have a good subject line. Never use free email. Use a name, not an administrative name in your, for your email address. Make sure you have quality content. And always, always, always make sure you have a call to action. And if you'd like to learn more about how to develop and write great emails, how to build your business, how to become a great entrepreneur, how to learn more strategies and techniques, and how you can, again, build a solid online business, well, then, by all means, just, just go to uh, this link right here. There we go. Let me get rid of that so you can see that. So just go to this link right here. Just go to the, this link right here. And also this link will be below uh, in, the, in the text too, below this video. Just go to this link and you can to learn more. Well, thank you so very, very much for watching. If you got value out of this, please go ahead and comment. I love reading your comments. And then also subscribe to my channel because I'll be providing more information, more strategies, more details on how you can be successful online. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a fabulous day. And again, just go to this link right here to learn how you can be a, be a greater and more successful entrepreneur. Thanks so much for watching and you take care now. Bye-bye.